Everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Halftime Builders. It is a tower defense deck builder uh, bullet heaven, which is a weird combination. And neat part about it is there's actually four different play styles. So you can have a mecha bot with all your buildings on one, conveyor bot, which is all of your buildings are kind of part of your train, and then two base building bots, Majubot and Buildabot. And I think we're going to be doing module Majubot as opposed to Buildabot. The only difference is enemies drop scrap on this one, and you can build scrap generating structures in this one. So let's just dive in and actually show this off. There we go. That's a much better and much more efficient version that does not involve me getting distracted by meta progression. So thing we want to do is we want to actually build a bunch of these factories. Unfortunately, the one thing I don't like about this game is the... Um, The, like, the control scheme is, uh, super scuffed. It's not bad, but it's kind of annoying to utilize. Let's actually, can I get a shield regeneration? Yeah. I'm gonna get one shield generator just so we can keep our shields up while I futz with things. Okay, switch back to this, and there's, like, no easy way for me to rotate these around, is there? Not overwhelmingly, no. Yeah, I was I was really hoping that I could like line these up in some kind of meaningful fashion, but unfortunately my factory is just gonna look like pants. And there's nothing I can do about it. Stormfield and the enemy closest to the tower. I think we want that one. Uh let's see, shotgun energy wave. Piercing long range now. Discharge turret? Sure. And Yeah, we have to get four blueprints. For our kind of initial starting towers. We don't really need to at the moment, but we will later. So first and foremost, the one thing I am going to do is I'm actually going to open my base up, which is a mistake. All of my towers can die instantly if uh, any of these enemies touch my towers. Uh, is this the right thing? Yes, it is. All right, cool. And I can move this to adjust. Because it starts us with a triangle, but triangles are kind of pants. Squares are where it's at. I'm not going to think about this for the moment. Is the game music too loud? It probably is. I'm sorry. Oh, right. I forgot. The option options menu does not go away when you mess with the settings. There. That should be uh, considerably more tolerable than it was. All right. Let's, uh, let's just throw in a couple of these. Because I don't actually know what the difference is between a discharge tower and a storm tower. And to some degree, it doesn't matter too much to me. We just want to get a couple of these down, because that Storm Tower is an incredibly good, uh... Let's see. It's an incredibly good AoE. That should let me carry. Might have actually turned the game volume down too much, but... That's eh, fine. All life is just adjusting audio, uh, audio settings. Honestly, not inaccurate. Okay, energy wave, yeah. Flamethrower. Interesting, but I think we want the machine gun as our last one. But what I mostly want to do is go back to buying a bunch of these. And sticking them as densely together as possible. So I don't have to get... <sighs> Ick. Can I get more? Yeah. Actually, do these things get more expensive? as time goes on. No! So the scrap generators are just... 500 a pop, no matter what. Alright. I guess time to just make the most scuffed little resource zone possible. It's... this sucks. So this is actually the thing I hate about this game, and so I, I'd specifically mentioned there's some jank about this before I started recording. It's that you can't really move your towers. They have, well, okay, you can move them, but there's no like good system for like exact placement. So if you notice, we've now turned my base into a hell maze of resource generators that some of which I cannot pass through. Um, and so luckily, like, we get a lot of resources just by walking through here, which we desperately need. And it'll be, you know, useful to have this many. But on the flip side, I don't really feel like I'm building a good base uh, to the point where I actually really wish that this specific uh, play style, the base building one, 
it was more of like a click to move or something. The the control scheme at the moment just feels bad to me in a not good way. Ooh, movement speed. Might not be a bad idea. Unfortunately, I don't have enough level up so that I can get more. If these are just 500 a pop, I should just be slamming them down everywhere. Because most other things scale up the more towers you have. I guess the one other thing we might want to consider doing is just extending our base. No boss is going to show up at some point. Yeah, I can just put those two up on the side and then just mush this down. My shields can kind of take it at the moment. And then I just can get some storms in each corner. There we go. Because it doesn't even require that many defenses at the moment. So what do we want to grab? Orbital strike, gold chest, or extended movement. I can reroll once per. Heal all shields instantly. Shields damage enemies back. 50 points per level. Ooh, that's nice. Go from there. So can base area be increased? Yes. It can. Alright, so let's go back to building more resource generators in this entirely scuffed little corner I've built. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Yeah, because what I wish I could do is actually put down, like, long strings of these comfortably. And I mean, I guess this works. I could move them around. I think a boss showed up. There we go. Yeah, I just wish I could actually, like, put things down on a grid or a hex of some variety. The, the, the lack of that is actually very uncomfortable for me. And, like, luckily here I can start kind of making, uh, I can start making, like, a much more consistent lineup. Okay, where'd that boss die? Straight north? Straight north. You should be able to upgrade your scrap generators instead of just spamming them. Yeah, that would actually also be pretty good. So, ultimate laser turret. Mega massive, strong firing laser. Fires towards the nearest enemies. Discharge. Pierce booster. Squadron of bombardiers in a straight line. Or I can go for increase all scrap collected by 20%. Alright, so what else do we want? Armor penetration. 2% crit chance to do extra damage. Bonuses times 4 for nano AoE. Uh, yeah. Actually, let's reroll. Let's see what else we get. More shield counter. Hooray! What if I just didn't have guns? What if I just had, uh, a ton of shield generators? The temptation is very strong. Because that doesn't work. And unfortunately, I kind of have to line these up, because I can only place them in kind of like a in order there's no way I can make it kind of subvert can't back up either I'm gonna spend most of this video just trying to squeeze as many of these scrap generators together as possible which is kind of madness and meaningless and whatever but I don't know I should probably also increase my overall maximum shields. Ah. There we go. At least this looks better. Compared to where it was at. Because uh, this was awful for a bit. And with a much more, like, organized defense here, we'll also be able to much more cleanly kind of collect our orbs. Uh, even to the point where maybe I just go up and down one path. I do notice that the scrap kind of mushes together. So I don't have to worry too much about, um, you know, if I haven't been in the area to collect more. I have 160,000 scrap. I should probably spend some of it at some point. Okay, random free building. No. More shield counter. Hooray!
Yeah, I'm almost wondering if that visual is actually a suggestion for the uh, the scrap orb size, and it just keeps glomming more and more uh, until I finally get around to picking it up. Okay. Yeah, if I can kind of line this up, and we have two rows, they should be able to work. What was the name of the previous game? Heretic's Fork. Which was real good. Alright, there we go. I should probably go over here and grab these suns. We should probably also just build a bunch of those big sniper turrets. Because all things considered, the lightning takes care of most of the trash. And so if I just had oodles of um, snipers just kind of wrecking things instead, wouldn't be the worst idea. It also feels like a lot of these guys are just hitting my shields and then dying due to the retaliation damage. Okay. Do we fit, like, two more? I think we do. There. Oh, this is much, much cleaner. It took a while to get it going, but now that we've got it, it feels nice. Should probably come over. Oh. Just move that there. I think we might want to double wide my shields. Maybe after the boss. Let's see. Why don't we also shield generation, max shield? Because, yeah, I can also just kind of pile a couple of these together, like, out here. Which, oh my gosh, that's a massive amount of, amount of max shield. Alright, where'd that boss die? Over here. Uh, let's see. Laser Bombardment, AoE Booster, Max Shields, more Scrap Collected. Let's see. Earned a new card. All buildings leveled up, too. Oh. Alright. I don't know if that means more Scrap. Yeah, let's, um... Get one of these Battery Boosters. expensive are these getting? Actually, very. There we go. That's probably stupid expensive and maybe unnecessary, but I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna scoot these out so we have a little bit more space at the very least. Because I can definitely fit some more defensive towers up in this mix. There we go. We also have an unused level up. I could go for the movement speed, but why? Ugh, none of these are good. Random free building, I suppose. It's a discharge turret. I don't even know what the discharge turrets do. Yeah, I think it's like a small AoE, AOE around the turret. Which doesn't feel particularly amazing to me. Is that machine gun even firing? This one just seems to be chilling. Can you can you fight? Okay, there it's going. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put this out here. Have fun with that. There. Alright. That machine gun is working as desired. Move this out. Cause yeah, I might as well have things be a little closer. More machine gun? Sure. 
And they cost 20,000. I should probably also go see how much is contained in these miniature suns. But... Like, nearly 100,000. One is building a scrapyard during what looks like a self-driving ve driving vehicle AI uh, uprising. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, these are getting progressively more expensive, but there's no reason kind of not to go for the really long-range suckers. Just get a bunch of lightning generators and a bunch of long-range things. It might not be a bad idea. Okay. It might also be worth getting a bunch of those... Let's see. What was I even going to say? You know what? I've lost it. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's move this out a smidge. Because I can still very much use that extra space. It seems like my towers are leveling up somehow here. Oh, yeah. Objective completed all towers level up. Sick. Question mark? Give me the juice. Uh, let's see. Where's the boss? Is it this tank thing over here? It probably is. Yep. I don't think anything's touching my shields. Do we actually get anything useful here? Not really? More scrap collected. More money. How is that thing still alive over there? I built a discharge turret because I wanted it gone, and it just still exists. Well, I ain't complaining. Let's absorb our... You know, it's actually not quite as much money as I would like. The quantity is slowing down by a bit. But I don't really know if I want to build more scrap generators. It feels like it's going... It's... We're just going to be reaching the depths of madness if I build too many more. Yeah, the problem is I'm going to have to shift the entire line to get, act get it to actually, like, line up well here. And I don't know if I really want that. I wonder if there's, like, a win condition on this one. I actually, I don't, I don't know. I also don't know if it matters. Uh, let's see. Fine, let's start getting some armor penetration. The retaliatory shields are kind of funny, but nothing's really touching our shields to begin with. I like the song, but, um, I really wish there were more. How much? 60,000 for the next one. Eesh. I mean, if I just ignore my money towers long enough, I'll get more. What this game really needs is interest. That would sort everything out. Isn't the objective in the top right? Sort of, but whenever we complete that objective, it just gives us a new one. And so I'm hitting this kind of weird progression apathy where I'm just kind of like, I could also just stop doing anything. Oh, if I actually hit upper, my upper limit on this tower, it's saying max, like I might not actually be able to build more. <laughs> uh, I didn't even think that was actually a possibility, but cool. I mean, I guess if we can't build any more energy wave turrets, that does solve some of my problems. How much do I have? Still not enough. More! I need more! Uh, let's see. Shield countered? Nah. Yep. 
Though maybe I should look into Orbital Strike. I just, I have Orbital Strikes aplenty at the moment. It's just called Storm Towers. They just do what they need to. Okay, do we have enough? Yes. Wait, what? What? No. No. Cut. Ah! So apparently, if you are at maximum towers, I don't know. I don't even know where the boss died. If you are at maximum towers and you try to build another one, it just eats the input. It just takes away your tower. Uh, does anybody? Oh, here it is. Wow, they died like a mile away. Hmm. I don't know, do we want to get an ultimate laser turret just for the hell of it? Sure, why not? So the problem with the boosters is that they are limited, uh... See, where do we actually want to put this? Kind of wherever. Are you going to function? You know that meme where it's the dude poking... Oh, there it is. Oh! I guess it just takes a little while before it decides to actually do anything. Sure. Okay. There it is. Unfortunately, it has the uh, unfortunate tendency of firing straight through my base because it's shooting at the nearest foe. <laughs> Alright, sure. Uh, be that way, I guess. Alright, let's get another one of these lightnings down. I'm sure it's gonna stop me at some point and say, no more lightning towers. Much to my chagrin. Well, I can fit at least one more. Unfortunately, they're kind of expensive, but whatever. Yeah, does this get... Yeah, so the more towers I build, the more expensive they get. How's of a talent? Let's get an orbital strike, for reasons. Oh! Okay, that at least looks really cool. Yes. Oh, wait, no, this is not the right thing. This is. Need 60,000 for that one. Well. Yeah, how is that discharge turret still alive? My defense is too overpowered. Nothing can touch me. Okay, so we're now maxed on those. The frame rate's also starting to get kind of scuffed. Okay, I need 40,000 for this next one. <laughs> Wander, come on, do something. Turret fires a giant laser. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen at some point. I just didn't know when. As we might actually need to start using the boss drops to give me the big turrets just because I'm hitting my upper limits on how many turrets I can build now. Because the discharge turret is uh, stinky and bad. And then after that, I guess I'll just invest all of my money into just sheer uh, shield perks. Not that it really matters. I've got 100 shield regen, and I don't think they're getting through that really quick. Still have that little turret out there <laughs> I threw outside doing its best. I'm astounded. I'm astounded that it is doing so well. Oh, we got another boss. Where? Unfortunately, oh, it's the helicopter? Nope. Is it here? Is it you? That seems like a boss. No, that's a regular enemy, I think. 
No, that was the boss. Wait, was it just taking retaliatory damage from the shields? I am not sure. I guess I'm gonna get the ultimate power booster. Here's the problem with the ultimate power booster. It's an actual booster structure that has to be placed down. Makes it not great. I'm just gonna move this up here. Uh, like, I could put the ultimate laser in there, but I'm not sure if that's really that practical. I have no idea if these, these smaller power boosters stack. And there's no way for me to find out! And multiple AoE boosters on a lightning tower. I might try that if I have nothing else better to do. Yeah, I was really hoping wave 30 would be like the end of it or something, but uh, it ain't that. Like, I'm, I'm enjoying these core mechanics. I think it's just missing something. It feels like I got too powerful too fast and my econ never really scaled. Like, everything scales weird and wrong. Like, none of the enemies are particularly interesting with how they approach me. My money is just kind of a flat income, but I you can just, like, overproduce to the point of absurdity. Um, I can't do anything with any of my towers that I've, like, built. Like, they're just... They just exist. Which isn't strictly bad, but it doesn't make them exciting to play around with. Okay, so those are expensive. Oh, right, we can also build the balanced turret. But, like, why? And so it's like, I think it's got all the right elements. I just wish it was a bit more interesting with how it plays out. Because right now I, I just feel like I'm just kind of hanging out. Yeah, there's no real uh, decisions or strategy you can take beyond what, what you do to build. Maybe unfair though, and you should play for yourself. I mean, I don't think it's inaccurate. Um, also, even the... Uh, the, like, level up power-ups are pretty basic. Just like, do you want crit or retaliatory shields? Or like a temp heal, which isn't really that useful. And like, none of those excite me. And so, I, I like where this is going, but I, I often use the word, it needs more of that, like, special sauce um, to make it, you know, feel that much better. And I, I'm very much gonna kind of parrot that with this one, that it, it feels like it needs some more... Uh, special sauce, secret sauce, uh, to make each of these more interesting. Like, even to the point where I don't think I should have this many resource generators. There's not really much of a point to it. I like the idea of doing so. Um, and, like, having to build a factory where econ matters. Um, but other games in this variety actually make you specifically seek out resource patches that you have to defend. And so your base kind of spider, spiders out in a really awkward fashion uh, to try and, you know, cover as many resource zones as possible. Yeah, if it had a supply chain, yeah. And I think I'll also say, I really wish that, especially for this mode, I wish it was keyboard and mouse controls where I was, like, clicking on a place and specifically putting my towers down on squares or hexes. Uh, that the lack of cleanliness on this generator double row system uh, makes me feel kind of uncomfortable, mainly just because I want it to be neat and tidy and easy to traverse, and I can't do that. I also have no idea where the boss is. I'm going to assume it's down again. Oh, it's no, it's over to the right? No, that's just a bunch of damage. I could also fly for some reason. Where's the boss?
Luckily, none of the enemies actually seem to care about my existence. Ah, oh, it's up, up north. Other games in this genre, like what? What games do you have to defend ra resources? I'm specifically thinking of RTSs and tower defense type games. Um, so, specifically in my mind, I was thinking of, honestly... Uh, ooh, what do we even want from this? Another ultimate laser turret! I was honestly thinking of, like, StarCraft and other RTSs. Rather than outright this game specifically. Did you ever play Harvest Massive, Massive Attack? I don't think I did. Yeah, Factorio, Mindustry. Uh, th those are other good examples. Yeah, I mean, Mindustry is probably one of your better ones. Um, Riftbreaker. Yes. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm slightly still playing or focused on playing the game. And not actually thinking about what I'm doing. And so I think if it had more of that, like, strong base building aspect, this could be incredibly cool. Like, effectively take everything good about Riftbreaker, but boil it down into an hour with slightly less exploration and research. And I, I think you'd actually have a pretty good si uh, situation here. Because as it stands, I, like, I don't feel particularly com uh, committed to any of my tower types. They all level up independently just by completing objectives, but all the objectives are just survive for the X number of waves. So, like, at this point, I actually don't have anything to do. I'm, I'm literally waiting for death. Um, and the only thing I can do is maybe acquire currency so I can stave off death further. Which almost feels... Uh, it almost feels antithetical to the idea of a bullet heaven. I, maybe this is just me having played a lot of really good ones, but the weakest bullet heavens I find after the midway point, once you've picked out your entire build and gotten most of your upgrades and evolutions, it hits this kind of unfortunate moment where you are sitting there doing nothing. You know, you're still trying to survive, but you don't really, you're not making any more decisions. You're not really playing the game, you're just waiting for it to end. While also kind of forestalling that from ending because, you know, you have to get the actual win, and that feels weird and bad. Um, and it's kind of tough. It's hard to balance, but in this case, for example, there's no, there's no specific like reason for me to do anything else. I can't expand my base. I don't have any more towers that I can place except for the exceedingly rare boss towers. You know, this is this is the farthest I go. Absolutely agree with that. And regarded my own game falling into it. On the at least for Nomad Survival, you never ran out of slots. Like you kind of completed a build, but you could keep getting more upgrades. Uh. So it wasn't, like, that bad, because you could keep pursuing more things. This one, I've hit the upper limit, you know, I, I've... I could build, like, a bunch of really dinky towers, but why? You know, the discharge towers, despite the fact that that one intrepid discharge tower is just out there and... Chill? I'm gonna get another orbital strike, I have no idea how they work. Um, if they're even that useful here. Oh, there's a boss somewhere in this midst. Wherever they may be, I will find them eventually. Maybe to the right? It looks like it could be that big looking tank thing over here. Yeah, key to, uh, key is to make sure that the player has interesting decisions until the run is over. If you find your game stops doing that for more than just a tiny bit, uh, apart from just like a tiny bit at the end, uh, then you need to look at the loop again. Yeah, I think that's a good example. I, I mean, honestly, I would actually even say uh, literally the game I, I played right before this is a good example. Um, Heretic's Fork was one of those that I was constantly being overwhelmed by more and more enemies, but it was giving me more and more tools to kind of figure out how to cope with that in interesting manners. And so I didn't mind too much. Oh, so that just summons laser bombers. Like, everything else is cool, but... Like, those bombers are cool, but it's not like I can really go for a bomber build. 
I mean, maybe I didn't pick the right structure, but it's not like I'm getting upgrades or cards or choices that specifically let me focus more into them. You know, rather than just giving me three bombers on that tower, what if it, I mean, I, I would actually argue, what if you were just getting random parts regularly that you could slot onto a random tower? So you have your basic plane tower, but here's the module that gives it an AOE. All of a sudden it's a bomber and it's dropping these bombs. And then you can get another part that gives you bigger AOE. So those bombs are bigger and then you get a multi-shot, slap it on again. And so you can just keep over-investing into one tower if you think that's useful. Or you can kind of spread it out a little bit. I don't know. Like, there's a lot of problems here, but there's also a lot of potential. Because I'm a huge fan of tower defense games and bullet heavens. And so, like, if it feels like I'm, I'm being unfairly critical on this, it's because I could see this, with the right level of tweaking, turning into an absurdly cool game. Yeah, salvaging bosses for tower parts? Like, I think that alone would elevate this a little bit because it would give me a choice constantly of just like, hey, this is worthwhile. Uh, even to the point of like, maybe I should just be constantly getting small little parts that I kind of figure out where they go and chucking it around. And so like, rather than having scrap at all, um, I can use a part to start a tower or use a part to upgrade a tower. And so it's just kind of a matter of like constantly scaling it out in some way or I don't know. Um, because I, I want to see where this could potentially go, because I think this could be incredibly fun. Uh, but I think it needs a little bit more of, yeah, that Factorio, yeah, where you need to gather resources and defend your base at the same time. Yeah. Or, like, a little bit of Factorio or Vectorio. Actually, Vectorio would be almost maybe the closer comparison. I know that's getting a re-release kind of soonish, and I'm curious to see how that's going to go. Because that developer had made, like, a kind of ho-hum bullet heaven. It wasn't a bad one. It just wasn't... It was, it, it just never really, like, found uh, much of an audience, I think, because it didn't... didn't yeah, it didn't do enough to set itself a apart. It didn't show up early enough to, like, really be an alternative to vi uh, Vampire Survivors. And it showed up a little bit too late, so once, like... 20 minutes till dawn and um, Rotato were out and a couple other ones. Never heard of Vectorio. I'll have to look into that one. So it was a free-to-play kind of cross between, like somewhere in the same vein as Mindustry and and Factorio where you were building a progressively increasing, like your base kept getting bigger and bigger as you had to go out and get more resource nodes and just use more space for like uh, tower effectively like tower data nodes so you could build more towers since you had to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger which meant it was harder and harder to, to defend and the towers were all pretty expensive so you couldn't be putting down like too many uh, though I don't think there was too much of an artificial limit oh there was a thing about like heat that I think if you had too many structures the difficulty would scale up and so you had to kind of balance around that um, and so no matter what you needed a bigger base to to get anywhere but you had to make sure it was ironbound, otherwise otherwise your enemies were just going to like punch a hole in it and wreak havoc uh, if you weren't paying attention. That was really cool. Um, and so, from what I know, it's actually getting like a full re-release with new mechanics. I'm curious to see how that goes, because it was really promising. I just don't know even what to do at this point. I guess I'm going to go for the golden scrap, because that's meta progression. Uh, let's see. Good solution for this w would be the incentive to branch out and explore. Yeah, kind of. I, I think going back to the Factorio comparison isn't a bad idea, where I think the enemies should actually just keep scaling up uh, to the point where I actually have to build out further to kill where they're scaling. And effectively, it's kind of this like constant arms race of me building a bigger and bigger base and enemies building a bigger, like more spawning locations and also just overwhelmingly. I don't know. I think there's a lot of ways to do it. How much would it change uh, what would be the game if the player could just go AFK for a prolonged time? I mean, at this point, all of the power scaling that I can do is either between a couple of level up options, which don't happen very often, uh, the boss rewards, which, you know, are pretty minor at this point, and then automatically every four waves, all of my towers get a little stronger. So yeah, I could actually probably just walk away for the next 20 minutes until I die, and considering no no meaningful damage has been done to my shield this entire time, it's kind of just like, eh, but why? Which, I will say, I really liked the idea of the retaliatory shields. I would love for there to be a build specifically where you completely askew towers, 
you never pick a single one, and you just have, like, hardened shields and retaliatory shields, and you just, like, really work on making this absurd, uh, highly damaging shield bulwark. Because I think that could be really cool. But, I don't know. For now, at least, I think I'll, I'll leave it here. I'll come back to this one. Because it's one of those where, with the right level of, like, development and focus and some more... Uh, more attention paid to the the core gameplay loop. I think this specifically could be incredibly fun. It just needs more. I don't know if finite resource nodes are exactly the answer because that kind of puts you in a tight spot, uh, especially if you make a mistake. I think it's better if it's actually infinite, but the more you get, the faster you scale. Um, so like, say if this, this area that I have my base in has like an upper limit of a thousand scrap a minute. But if I get two of those res resource patches, it's 2,000 a minute. And if I can kind of link them together and keep them keep them stable and well protected, then I've effectively doubled my income. But it gives me more to manage, and I keep kind of scaling out from there. I don't know. I think there's a lot of ways to do it. And I don't want to, like, give a specific one because it's up to the developers to figure out. Uh, let's see. Do I go for another three waves? Nah, I'm good. Let's see what the uh, meta currency earns me at the least. Because I should have a whole bunch of, uh, to maybe do something with. Oh, diamonds are gained by selling cards. Turn some building. Wait, cards. Oh. What ha What happened? Unequip all. Okay, so we got some cards here. How many cards did I get? Wait, how many pages are there? What is going on? I am confused. I mean, I can sell that. It's trash. Yeah, the problem is all of these cards are just like reduced price or extra level, which is kind of okay, but none of them are interesting. Yeah, so each completed objective gave me cards. But this game is... Okay, how many pages of this do we have? Three? I want to go back. What's in the diamond store? Better tools. See, here's the ridiculous thing. We want to go to change cards. I don't think there's a downside to me getting rid of every single card that I have and then buying all of these. Extra card when completing an objective. I mean, that's absurd. Start with the boss drop. Wait, max? Oh, I have two golds. Wait, diamond upgrades only last one match. Oh. Why, though? What? Sure. I I suppose? Yeah, I don't know. I, I think it needs a little bit more time in the oven, at the very least. For now, let's move on to something else. I, I like where they're going with it, but it needs to... I don't know. It needs more. <laughs>